Hello friends, today we are going to harvest the, the delicata squash. The, we are harvesting them ahead of time uh, because we have this insect, insect infection of the delicata squash. These squash start to show the sign of the blisters and uh, they were attacked by the vine borers. So we have to cut them down and give them a, a diagnose. Oh. See these squashes are showing the yeah, the discoloration the, which is, is the first signs of uh, when you cut them open they get uh, slimy inside. Yeah. They lose their firmness too. Yeah. Yeah, not all of them are like that but this forces us to do it early in case there is a problem. We cut open three squashes. They all look smart. Slimy. slimy and uh, sick. Uh, this one is slightly better, but the tissue still looks very sick. They are not usable. They're liquefying, like a like a zucchini we picked up that had the same. Yeah, and, and if that. yeah, if you keep them inside the house, and they will turn totally liquefied inside. Hi friends, it's Rick and Lisa's kitchen and garden. Today we are going to talk about the. Uh, a very unpleasant but unavoidable subject how to prevent or protect your squashes from diseases and uh, insects. insects. It's a heartbreaking experience after a long growing season and you harvest some squashes that infected by these pests and the diseases. See, here's the guava. You see it? You see it? Yeah. Let me zoom in on it. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. When you see the sign of sawdust, there's a, there must be this... Uh, grub. Yeah, this grub. Uh, vine. Vine, vine. Or, and you can just remove it. Feed it to birds. Yeah. Normally they, normally they were only one or two. They don't have a plenty in one vine. You find the entrance point, and they take it off. This way, you kill it. It won't uh, develop into the uh, adult, and it won't lay eggs. That's from a, a moth, I think. Yeah, from type of moth. That's one way to uh, to kill it. And uh, if you still have things grow on the vine you can close it and uh, because the nutrients are more transported mm -hmm. on the outer layer of the skin yeah. the, the the middle is uh, pretty much empty yeah. so you just uh, close it that is uh, when you find it your it's uh, your plant is too far gone growing that's one way to uh, get rid of the bugs you can find the entry point when you see holes. This one has something too, but I need a knife to do it. Mm, okay. These are vine borer moss that emerge in the soil in summer. These are the eggs of the vine borer. There's a grub inside the vine and you can see the chaff where it dug a hole. There are three ways to combat uh, vine borers. For a small scale of garden like ours, you can set up a physical barrier. That is, when you are transplanting your seedlings, you put the roots into the sock, into a nylon socks. That can uh, prevent, that set up the physical barrier for the moths to lay, to get into the plants to lay eggs. So you leave the uh, you leave extra uh, length of the uh, nylon socks above the dirt above the surface of the dirt, and when the plants grow up, you pull it up up uh, up to about twenty centimeters high along the stems. That will help to prevent the moths to getting to lay eggs in your plants, and uh, that will help uh, your plants grow healthy. So here's the second one.
this is the physical method. The other method, as uh, I researched, was that you can use uh, wood ash. You can mix in some wood ash to your soil in fall, and uh, hopefully the wood the wood ash can help to kill the eggs or larva, whatever in the soil. So in spring, when you plant your seedlings, it's safe for them to grow nice and healthy. And the third method is to use commercial uh, pesticide, which is a kind of uh, beneficial bacteria. But that method is very expensive. For the scale of our garden, it's not even worth it. We just uh, gave it a try in this method, this physical method, because we just grow five or six plants, so that's all. I hope uh, these tips help you to enjoy your gardening and enjoy your good harvest of your squashes. I'll report to you on the result later on. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.